Well, the search is on for a car that could be the key to solving a double murder in Hacienda Heights. Deputies found two people dead inside a home at Carriage Place and Halliburton Road. And CBS 2's Car Finstrom live now. And Car, apparently the neighbors have been concerned about that home for a while. They have been, Sandy. Those concerns were about one of the victims, an 84-year-old woman who they say was living here alone and had growing confusion. Now, at this point, police say a motive is not known, and they're still trying to figure out who their suspects may be. She was super sweet. She was always friendly. Um, it's just unbelievable. Shelly Ellison lives a few doors away from the Hacienda Heights home where investigators discovered two bodies. They believe one victim was the 84 year old homeowner, the other was a man who hasn't yet been identified. Detectives believe their bodies had been there for days. Oh, very cruel. It's very shocking. Deputies went to the house yesterday when someone called saying the woman hadn't been seen in a week. They noticed a strong odor outside, which they believed to be from a body, and forced their way inside. They say the two victims were in different rooms and had been assaulted. A number of neighbors tell us they've been worried about the owner. Yeah, there have been issues for the past several months. Those neighbors say the 84 year old suffered from confusion or dementia. They described a group of men and women in their 20s or 30s who were constantly coming and going and who they believed were acquaintances of her son. Investigators say that son was arrested months ago on suspicion of abusing his mother and that he was in custody at the time of the killings. A lieutenant tells us deputies had become familiar with her because of the charges and were regularly checking in on the home. He says she drove a car and wanted to stay independent but had no apparent family looking after her. One clue detectives hope can help her car. It's missing and may have been stolen. The beige Toyota Camry has a license plate of 7LXV190. Esperanza Martinez wishes something more could have been done to protect her vulnerable neighbor. People is very private in this neighborhood anyway, but yes, it's just it's, it's sad. As for the other victim, investigators say at this point they don't even have an approximate age for him because of the condition of his body. Rick, they're asking anyone with information that may help to contact them.